Hi everybody, my name is Valérie Broca. I live in Brittany, Western France, near Brest. Brest is an awful and great city because it was destroyed during World War II, but it has beautiful landscapes and seashores all around, and it is a city of sea records. We will host the start of the Tour de France next June. The weather here is perfect, produce grass and milk, you know what I mean. I will try to lead our R4D vessel to our port of destination. I work on dairy cost feeding and management techniques. Since 30 years, I'm in charge of trials in an experimental farm with two units, one conventional and one organic. We are specialized in producing milk from forages and low input systems. Since 2012, we have a mobile milking robot on the organic farm. I must confess that I fell in love with my bike when I was a child. It gives me the opportunity to show you some landscapes of woods, hills and seashores where I'm practicing mountain bike in winter and road cycling in summer, as well as sea activities. Finally, my partner is an organic dairy farmer, so we have the chance to live in a farm with plenty of animals. The most clever being our donkey, Napoleon. We have two children aged 15 and 23. Hi everyone, my name is Jocelyn Fagon. I'm currently living and working in Toulouse, well known for its aeronautics and aerospace industry, such as its famous rugby team, which is four times European Championship winner. There are not so many dairy cows here, but I'm sure that in short time we will be able to send some to Mars. My main fields of activities are focused on labor and social issues on farm, dairy farming system assessment, and management of the dairy farms and advisors network. For this Resilience for Dairy project, I will drive the work package one with Jason from my research. And finally, from a personal point of view, I have three young boys, that's why I may get tired sometimes. And when I get time, I play music. Hi, I'm Manon. I live in Brittany, in the countryside near Rennes, which is kind of the capital of the region. Here we can find a high density of livestock production. We have numerous pigs, dairy cows, and poultry farms. Brittany is also well known for its beautiful landscapes, but also for its terrible weather. If you want to visit this region, Bringing your raincoat is strongly recommended. Most of the culinary specialties are based on buckwheat. For example, we make a sort of salted crepes based on buckwheat flour. Filled with cheese, eggs and ham, it's called galettes and it's delicious, I swear. Um, I am specialized in participatory research and agroecology related to livestock production. I am also very interested in human-animal relationship and societal expectations of livestock farming. For this project, I will support my workmates on meetings animation and online tools utilization, as you will see during those two days. During my free times, I enjoy cooking, gardening and horse riding. I speak French, English and a little bit of Italian. I still try to improve my Italian, so buon convegno a tutti, or I wish you a good meeting. Bye. Hi, everyone. I am Aubin Lebrun. I live in Rennes, in the earth of Brittany, a region well known as a massive actor in terms of agricultural production. But Brittany is also famous for its tradition. For, so, for example, if you are a music lover, you may know the famous Celtic Festival of Lorient. And if you are more interested by gastronomy, you must try the famous Galette Breton. I work at the French Livestock Institute for more than one year, and I am in charge of the coordination of the dairy farm networks in the west of France. I am also involved in some projects linked with economical and technical issues on dairy farm. In the Resilience for Dairy project, I will be the farm facilitator in France. And to tell you a bit more about me, 
Uh, I, uh, I love gastronomy and typical French product like a cheese. Uh, and I am quite lucky because uh, as everyone know, France is a country of thousand cheese. And when I have time, I love with some friends make our own cider or beer. So here you have a bottle of our last batch of beer. Cheese. Hi, I'm Elisabeth Castellan. I currently work in Arras in the north of France and I live in the countryside. The north of France is well known for its potatoes production. In France, nine fries out of 10 are coming from here and they're really good. We have beautiful landscape, the coast with high cliff that you can see in the picture, the rolling countryside in the breeding area and the mining heritage ranked at UNESCO. In Idel, I am a project manager in dairy production and environment. I mainly work on carbon footprint. I coordinate a project in the north with the goal to involve 1,000 farmers in carbon footprint reduction. In this project, I will be regional coordinator for Eau de France and also environmental expert for France. Finally, some personal information. In my free time, I like to go hiking with my dog, who loves water, that you can see in the picture. His name is Dobby, if you know the reference, and he's here. Dobby? And I like also to garden and to grow my own vegetables to cook them. Hi, I am Simon Fourda. I currently work in Arras, in the north of France and I live in Douai, not very far from Arras. The north of France is a, an industrial region, well known for the auto industry, and the former coal mining region. We have several great football teams, the famous Excellence, but also Lille and Valenciennes. The region produces industrial crops, such as sugar beets, potatoes, and grains. We also have dairy cows and the PDO cheese, le maroil. You can't forget the smell. My field of activity is focused on the evaluation of livestock systems. I am the regional coordinator of a network of dairy farms in the north of France. I participate in many projects with the Belgians currently. I have skills in animation and project management. In this project, I will be regional coordinator for Normandy. Finally, some personal information. I have two young children, a boy and a girl. And for my hobbies, I like gardening and I have a small guinea pig farm. Thank you. <laughs>